much better. So, uh, welcome back to Zach and Lizzie Make Show. Uh, this, what are we, first times? This is called first times, and this is uh, the- First times. Yeah. And uh, basically what we're going to do is- It's another review series. Yeah. Basically what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make each other listen to or watch something for the first time. Yeah, and I can't hear you. Ow. Okay, basically what's going to happen right now is I'm going to make Zach listen to my favorite Beyonce album, B-Day, for the first time. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna give me his thoughts Why on it. Why are there 19 songs in this it's, album? She wrote this album in 10 days, for those of you who don't know. She, she wrote, really wrote a 19 track she, album? She, she wrote and recorded the whole album in 10 days. I thought only Foo Fighters could pull that off. <laughs> nope. Beyonce is a creative force to be reckoned with. And Alright, um, now, I've heard of Beyonce. I'm not an animal. Yeah. But he's never, like... I've never... He's I never mean, I know gone, the hits and... He's never gone and listened to her, like, of his own accord. So when did this come out? I uh, think 2000... I don't know why I asked you. I two... can't hear anything you're saying. I'm pretty... It was 2008 or 2009, but when I used to get ready in the morning for school, I used to watch VH1 in the morning, and they would play this music video a lot, that and the music video for Ring the Alarm. And Deja oh, Vu, I think, was the other one. Yeah, Deja Vu was the other one. Alright. Irreplaceable. I'm on... Oh, well, I fucking know this <laughs> Green Light. It's a pretty good one. I thought, so that song is not called To The Left, it's called Irreplaceable? Yeah. I fucking hate that song. <laughs> Anytime anyone mentions just the word left, my mom starts singing it. So, uh, what, do, what are your thoughts on Green Light? This actually isn't that bad. Green Light's a good one. Just, this is harder than the word scrambler. <laughs> I think Beyonce's, Beyonce's the one thing that makes me not be able to talk. <laughs> This isn't, I actually like this a lot better than the first song. Can, you listen to this? Yes. Often, actually. I don't know. Often I mean, enough. Obviously, I'm not the demographic, but Cat, Cat now. Track four. For those of you keeping score Anyways, I was thinking the other day, I was going to tweet this, but I yeah. don't have a Twitter. And I thought of a really funny joke. Yeah. But I, I was going to say, uh... Sometimes I like to think that Wolf of Wall Street was just the Monopoly movie. <laughs> this one's Upgrade You. Featuring Jay-Z. That's my Jay-Z impression. <laughs> that was your Jay-Z. <laughs> it's not bad. I didn't know she could rap, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh. So this was the one that came out last year? Yeah, Beyonce. That everyone freaked out about? Self-titled album. Because I've heard that song. Drunk in Love, yeah. I heard uh, Will Ferrell lip sync it, and it was the best thing I ever saw. So who are these songs about? Because they're like... Because wasn't she with Jay-Z when she sang Irreplaceable? Yeah. And then Jay-Z talks about like, like fucking bitches and... Like, well, because the songs obviously are selling aren't, coke and shit. Obviously, their songs are not about their married I life. I would like, assume. Like, so these are just but, all fiction. Yeah, they're just they're writing songs for their fans. Music is fake. They understand that their fans are not all power couples. I think she said five, four, eight, one. Was she born in eighty one. I don't know. I figured it out, Beyonce. You can't fool me. That was your fucking birthday. Shh. <laughs> Wait, isn't Blue Ivy her baby? Yeah. So her baby was just like, Yo, my name is Blue Ivy, and no, I'm a baby. She, they have like the sound of like the baby laughing in the song. Why would you feature? <laughs> it says Blue featuring Blue Ivy. Yeah. It's credited in the song. Because <laughs> well, she was the song is about her. Beyonce is ridiculous. Beyonce is a queen and she can do whatever the hell she wants. I can't wait till Deja Jessica. Deja Vu featuring. Yeah. What? Deja oh, Vu sorry, featuring Jay Z. This one's one of my favorites. What about Jessica? This is your favorite one? It's one of my favorites. I said I can't wait till Jessica 
watches this video. She's gonna lose her shit. She's gonna, She's gonna be so excited. She's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> She's gonna be excited I'm making you do this. Alright. Ring the Alarm is actually my favorite song on this album. I think this is just Pulse of the Maggots by Slipknot. No, it's not. This one's Resentment. They get the guitars from Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yeah. Really? No. This is her playing guitar? N no. Can she do anything besides sing? I don't know. Like, everyone's hyping her up as this big talent. She you is a big talent. You don't know anything that she does. I, cause I she's just got a huge ass and she can sing and she's married to Jay-Z. Okay. First of all, the fact that she's married to someone is not part of her talent. Nor is having a huge ass. Because if that was a talent, then I would be the most talented person I know. Yeah. I'm hoping no one was like, oh my god, he's going to listen to Beyonce and it's going to change his life. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that. That never was going to happen. I was kind of hoping. This one's Worldwide Woman. Is she a Worldwide Woman or a website? Worldwide Woman. Because she, she travels the world. She's a jet setter. Is that? Yeah. That's, that's the correct term. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to this so long. Check on it! This one's so good. Featuring Bun B Slim Thug. You skipped check on it! Okay, fine. Andre Sounds Fernandez. like Bunholio. Isn't that his name? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah! Oh no, Cornholio. Fuck. You don't even know. You've never seen Beavis and Butthead. I've seen Beavis and we Butthead. We gotta do that on this show. <laughs> you gonna make me watch Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. Okay, that's the next one. So good. We'll do that one next time. Is that her singing in Spanish? Yeah. That's her. Please show me where the bathroom is. That's not what she's saying. My singing. favorite color is blue. That's... Okay, beautiful. She just took Spanish one, and then she's like, I got this. Beautiful Liar Remix. Alright, so that's... And that's the end of B-Day. Oh my god. So, okay, you can take your headphones off. <sighs> I feel like I don't hate pop music. Like, I just like good, like, the beats were good, but I just, I don't know, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll blast Kesha in my car sometimes, but that's just because, I don't know, I like the music parts. Because, because you can, like, jam the, Kesha you can jam the fuck out to. Yeah. Like, no, all of her songs, you jam I just out. like jamming, guys. It's... I don't get how she recorded it in 11 days. And there's, like, 19 tracks. I mean, I guess if you know what that, you're gonna do, that's but... A, it's a, well, because she... The story goes, at least what she said in an interview that I watched when I was in, like, high school. Um, from what I remember. She was just, like overflowing with like all these ideas and she was like I need to do something about it and so she recorded the whole album in 10 days and was like it's perfect and then released it and that was that was her whole she just like had to do it and she like couldn't get it out of her head whatever idea she had yeah. so what was your favorite song on the album uh I mean I skipped through a bunch I mean there's so many songs on it's here. 19 songs it's a long album so the one that like because like I said I just listened to the first couple seconds maybe like the first 30 seconds of each song, maybe a little bit longer for certain ones. The one that kind of, like, I was actually, oh, this actually isn't terrible, is probably Greenlight. Yeah. That's the one I listened to the longest. Which one do you think was the worst? Uh, I thought her saying WWW as a lyric was pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> so that threw me off. I, I just, and I don't want to sound like an <laughs> asshole because I listen to dumb music, but for some reason, like, certain songs that hit me, I just don't like simple lyrics about, like, like a perfect example, and I'm sorry, Jessica, if you're watching, but when I first heard Telephone, it's just a song about someone getting a call in the club, and I don't want to receive the call. So I'm yeah, because go that's annoying. Because that's annoying. That is the stupidest it's about, fucking thing. It's an about oh, that song enrages me. It's Songs about, like that. So a, that is my example. It's about a jealous significant other who won't stop calling you, won't stop bugging you. So you're like, fuck you. Yeah, but you shouldn't have like. 
Just turn your phone off. You shouldn't off. write, like, like that's maybe an five lines answer. and then just repeat them over and over again and then just have, like, a dance beat behind it. Like, that's, that's what I hate. That's most pop music. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> why I hate most pop music. Which I'm not saying that's what this album was. No. You have to realize. Like, I literally listened to 30 seconds of each, each one. Yeah. All right. Can we end this now? Yeah, we can end this now. So, yeah, Zach uh, loves Beyonce now, and it's changed his life forever. Mm -hmm. And he's his number one fan now, so yep. he's a feminist. Can't you tell by my flash shirt and my <laughs> ginormous beard? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see you next time. Bye! And